We found out in early January and we were kind of hoping, so we were very excited. Eva Penor and her partner Jesse found out they were expecting their first child right before the COVID-19 vaccine became available. Jesse got his shot, but Eva wanted to hold off. Like kind of worried, like, well, you know, because there hadn't been much studies as far as pregnant people were concerned with the vaccine. So um, initially we were like, let's just wait it out. Since April, the CDC has recommended the shot for pregnant women, although people who are pregnant were excluded from the initial clinical trials of the three COVID-19 vaccines authorized for emergency use in the U.S. Significant research since then has shown the shots to be safe and effective for pregnant women. Especially when they came out and said that babies were getting the antibodies, that was like huge. I was like, okay, well, I would love for my kid to have the that benefit. Eva got the shot last month. It is probably the best thing you have done. Dr. Bukosi Dube with the Oregon Health Authority says that was a good decision, especially since pregnancy increases complications from COVID-19. Um, what we have seen is that women who are who get COVID after getting vaccinated, if if there were to be the rare case of, uh, of a breakthrough case, um, they do much, much better than women who have not been vaccinated. Uh, so and their babies do much, much better. But so far, the CDC reports only about 24% of pregnant women in the U.S. are vaccinated. The percentage is even lower among Black and Latina women. Earlier this month, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention formally recommended all pregnant women get vaccinated against the virus. You are better off if you're pregnant or thinking of getting pregnant to get vaccinated so that you protect yourself and you protect your baby. Especially with this Delta surge that we're experiencing right now, I, I, I think it's, it's probably a really good idea to go ahead and get your vaccine. Eva doesn't regret getting the shot and hopes her decision reassures other mothers-to-be. If it's being recommended that you take it by your doctors or your medical team, like I think go for it because really ultimately you're going to be protecting yourself and others. Christelle Kumwe, KGW News.